everyone, so for my final video before Christmas I thought I would do like a pre-Christmas super pampering session and what I will be doing probably tomorrow night while everyone's like watching, I don't know, the Top Gear Christmas special or something, I'll probably sneak off for an hour or so and do this and this is like full on when I'm just super greasy, super gross and I just need to sort myself out and that's like hair, nails, body, everything, face masks, everything. So how I like to get started is to wash my hair first and I think it's because when I'm blow drying it I get like a bit hot and bothered so I like to get that like out the way, get my hair like nice and clean up off my face because usually that's the thing, the most telling sign that I really need to sort myself out because my hair just looks gross. So I put it down and then I just run through it with the tangle teaser. The tangle teaser is just where it's at for knotty hair it's so easy to use and I just like to do that to like loosen all the dirt and just so it's not as difficult to brush after I've washed it. Then to wash it I've been using the Red Ken All Soft range, the shampoo and the conditioner which I'm really liking so far and I just whip my hair over the side of the bath. I'm one of those like over the side of the bath people, I always do it there, it's just the quickest, easiest way. I don't like getting the rest of my body wet while I'm doing my hair, I don't know I'm strange like that, so I just do it over the side of the bath, just get my hair wet and just do it with like the shower head over the side and do my shampoo and conditioner. If I'm feeling really fancy I'll stick in a hair mask but for this time I didn't, I just use those. Then when I get out I don't really towel dry it so much, I just kind of put it tightly in a towel and then pat it so not to like disturb the hair follicles and make them more frizzy so just kind of put, like tighten it with the towel to make sure that the like worst of the damp is off and then I run through about four pumps for my whole head of the Red Ken Anti Snap which again is another product I showed recently and I'm really enjoying it, it smells gorgeous and a lot of people did say though in the comments that overuse of it can actually cause your hair to break more even though it's called Anti Snap which is bizarre but I'm totally taking up that advice so I just use that on alternate washes and then on other days I use the Kerastase Nectar Thermique which is like a heat protectant and leave-in conditioner in one, does a very similar job. So I definitely put in like a leave-in conditioner in something that's heat protected as well because then I go on and I blow dry my hair really really roughly, I don't really fuck around with different brushes or any of that, just kind of run my fingers through my hair while I'm blow drying it and just do it really kind of messily. I just find that's the easiest and quickest way to do it and I don't really like to done hair anyway so that just does it for me and then I just brush through it again and then just whip it up in a bun or in a ponytail just to get it off my face for the rest of my routine. Then I like to run myself a very nice bath and this is where this routine gets slightly festive because I'm going to use the Philosophy Cinnamon Buns Bath Shower and Hair Gel which is it's the most incredible smelling thing Ever. It smells exactly like cinnamon buns and I just like to run some of that in a in hot water just to make it all nice and frothy and bubbly and the smell doesn't really linger around for too long on your skin afterwards but it does just smell gorgeous in the bath, makes your house smell very nice and tasty and adds a bit of festive flavour. Then when I'm in the bath I do you know shave in all that shebang and then I use the Soap and Glory Sugar Crush Scrub as well which just gets rid of every, all your dead skin cells, all that horrible stuff and just makes you feel nice and radiant and glowy when you jump out of the shower. So then I towel myself off and just pop on whatever kind of moisturiser I'm feeling, whether that's like an oil or if I'm feeling a fake tan, feeling a bit adventurous, I'll stick on some of the Zen tan. I just go crazy for whatever oils and moisturisers I'm loving at that time. Then I knuckle down onto face and this is probably my favourite part of my routine and this is like a mini routine that I will kind of stick on most weekends because it's one of my favourite things to do at the weekend and when I do it my skin just feels so much better and so much less congested afterwards and it always looks a bit brighter as well especially with the mask I'm going to use. So I get started with the Emma Hardy cleansing balm and I just take a tiny bit of that and just massage it all into my face, taking in the smells, feels amazing. I do that and then I just get a damp flannel and just massage that off. Just wipe it off and that just cleans your skin, opens up your pores and it gets your skin completely prepped for face mask. And the face mask I'm going to use today, and which I, I suggest, I love it, it's the Aesop Parsi Seed Deep Cleansing Mask. I just think it's a nice all-rounder, it deep cleans, it's fantastic if you're feeling a bit spotty, if you're looking a little bit lacklustre, it just kind of does everything in one. There's so many face masks that I use, I think I've got a face mask video, I'll link that up below, but the Aesop one's just a fantastic all-rounder for like 
whatever sort of skin you've got. I'd say more normal to oily skins. If you've got more dry skin, go for a bit more of a radiance boosting kind of AHA mask. But if you've got normal to oily combination skin, the Aesop is a great pick. And what I do with that is I just plop it onto an old foundation brush and then just brush it onto my face. I find that it's the easiest way to apply face mask. Might, might look a bit strange, but it means you don't get it all in your fingers, all in your hair. You can just apply it exactly where you want it and be quite precise about it. So I tend to put that all over, then I wait 10 minutes and then wash it off and then splash my face with some cold water and just pat my face dry. Then I'll kind of carry on with whatever my evening skincare routine is at the time, which at the moment is the Aesop Parsley Seed Antioxidant Facial Toner. I just put that on a cotton pad, wipe that over my face. Then I add some serum into the mix, and for that I'm using the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair, which I just love, it's just a fantastic, again it's just a good all-rounder, bit of a beauty edge favourite and I love it too. And then I add a moisturiser on, which at the moment I'm using the Origins High Potency Nitamins, the oil-free version, I stick that on and then just pat some eye cream, which at the moment is the Alpha H Absolute Eye Complex, I think it's called, which is probably the most cooling eye cream ever. In fact, I think I'm going to stick it in the fridge just to make that super bit more cooling. It is really nice and refreshing on the eyes and fantastic for depuffing as well, so I just pat that on with my ring finger. So that's hair, body and face done, then I go on to nails and if, I'm, if I've got a lot of time set aside, if it's like the Formula One is on or something, then I'll go a bit crazy and do my toenails as well, but I don't tend to do them every week. I, I think a lot of people are a bit bad with their toenails and I definitely fall into that camp. I'm very lazy with them, especially in the winter because they're in socks and boots so no one else can really see them aside from me. So I'm just going to do my fingers today and the first thing I do, first thing I always do with my when I do my fingers is file and shape them and we'll get rid, actually get rid of any polish that you've already got on there. I've already done that. But then I just file and shape them. I like using the Leighton Denny Crystal Nail File, which is a recommendation from you guys. It is the best nail file ever. It's just a bit of an investment. It's not as abrasive on the nails, so it's much more kinder to them, which results in less breakages, which is always a thumbs up from me. So I do that first. Then I add some of the Sally Hansen Cuticle Remover Gel, Maximum Strength, just around the cuticle beds and this just helps to dissolve the cuticles away, makes them super easy to remove and then you don't, you're just, your nail polish just looks a lot cleaner when you do this. Then I just push them back with a nail tool that I've got from Kiss, wipe that clean and then you're ready to get started with like base and colour and top coat. And for base coat, I use the OPI Nail Envy, nearly at the bottom of this, and I've just been using it every time I paint my nails, probably since I got it, which was at the beginning of the year. I'm going through this stuff, it's, it's definitely lasted pretty well, but I just find it makes my nails feel nice and strong underneath, and works pretty well as a base coat as well. Then, for colour, I think I'm going for something, this is kind of the other bit of festive flavour in the video, I'm going for... Rimmels, no, not Rimmels, Revlons Vixen, which I did a post about the other day on my blog because I have a feeling it's a Chanel dupe, so I will link that up below. This is a very nice black cherry colour. It looks very black in the video, I know, but it's actually more of like a blackened red in real life with almost like a brown burgundy undertone. So it's kind of festive, a bit sultry and sexy as well, and I think I'm going to maybe uh, Christmas it up a bit with a festive glitter nail, and I think... I don't know, there's, there's a few contenders, but I will definitely be putting up a blog post about crystal nails. Crystal nails? Glitter nails? Crystal nails, because that would be bizarre. Glitter nails tomorrow on the blog, so keep an eye out for that one. Then top coat is Seche Beat Top Coat. I just scoop this on. Again, I'm right at the end of my bottle, so I'm like scooping it out, but I just find it is the quickest drying thing ever, so I just stick that on. And then I put on some of the SC cuticle pen, just around the cuticles. It just helps um, the nail. If you use like an oil over the top, it just helps it dry super quickly and really nourishes the cuticle bed as well. So that is my pre-Christmas prep routine. It's something that I try and fit in most weekends if I can get away for long enough. I've condensed this video down to probably over 10 minutes, but actually it takes me a good like hour, possibly hour and a half. Two hours if I'm feeling really luxurious and really pampering and you want to throw the toenails in as well. But if you can fit this in before the big day, then happy pampering. And thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you all have a lovely Christmas, sending you really amazing Christmas wishes. I hope you have a nice time with your family and friends. I'm so excited. But I will see you guys soon and have a good day. Bye!